Having lousy internet speeds is the worst. Whether you're playing games, watching movies, or maybe even running a business, if that thing is slow, life is not good. But in this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to boost that internet connection so that you're getting the maximum speed possible. The first thing we wanna do is to check your internet speed. And I'm not talking about looking at your bill or calling the service provider, because that's just what you're paying for. You wanna see what you're actually getting from your computer. Just go to the website speedtest.net and then click on the go button. And the site is completely safe. IT pros have been using this forever to test for exactly what I'm gonna show you here. And now we've got our result. I got 329 meg down and 280 up. Now depending on where you live, you might think those numbers are pretty good, except I'm paying for full gigabit internet. So I really should be seeing 1000 meg up and 1000 meg down. Now I'm gonna rerun that same test again, except I made one change. Now these results are looking a lot better. 687 meg down and 635 up. That's almost double from the first test. But what exactly did I change that could make such a difference? When I did the first test, this computer was running completely on Wi-Fi. But when I did the second test, I plugged directly into the network. And when you're at home, a network just means those ports in the back of your router. So does that mean that wireless connections are actually slower than wired ones? And how can that be possible? This is a brand new Mac with the fastest wireless connection possible. Well, the problem doesn't have anything to do with the Mac or even if it was a PC. The problem with a wireless connection is the same problem you had when you were a kid with your walkie talkies. You might push that button and be able to get right through or somebody else breaks in the connection or maybe you get some kind of interference. And wireless connections are a lot more advanced than they used to be, but they also still suffer from the same problems from the old days. You can get interference from appliances, things like microwaves and even lights. But a bigger problem is something called contention. That's when devices try to talk at the same time and then one has to wait for the next device to be able to continue. And even though all that stuff happens really quick, it's still gonna make a wireless connection slower than a wired one. And now that you understand why that wireless is slower, let's work on boosting your connection. So the first recommendation is to plug your computer directly into your router. Now many people have the router right next to the computer on the same desk and they're still using a wireless connection. And if you're someone that runs a gaming console, you're definitely gonna to wanna to plug that right into your home network so that you're getting the maximum speed possible. But what can you do if your router is on another floor or you've got more than one computer that you wanna plug into the router? You can start with the easiest option. Many people don't realize you can buy network cables in as short as one foot all the way up to 100 feet. This means you can have the router pretty much anywhere in your house and just route the cable as best you can between the computer and the router. You can run the cord along the edge of a rug or even around a door, and this might not be perfect, but it'll definitely get the job done. The other option is you can hire an electrician to run the network cable on the walls, and that's gonna make it a lot more permanent and will definitely look better. A network cable is pretty cheap, and you could try to tackle the job yourself, run the cord in the walls, and then all you need to do is put on the ends. You start by taking the end of the cable, cutting off a small amount of the insulation, and now you're gonna see these wires inside. You just slip this little cap they include with the jack over the end of the cable, now you're gonna untwist those pairs. Now just match up each color of the wire with the color on the label. And what makes this type of jack so unique is that you're not working on the jack itself. You're just tucking those wires into the slots on the cap. And once you've got everything done, then you just need to press the cap onto the jack itself. Squeeze it all together, trim off that excess wire, and now you can close those sides to the jack. And now in less than five minutes, your jack is complete. You can put it into a wall plate like this one, screw everything up tight, but what about the other end of the cable? That's the part you're gonna plug into your router. The easiest way to handle that at home is to put one of these plugs directly on the end. That's gonna allow you to plug it directly into your router or another type of switch if you've got one. This is a brand new type of speed jack. This takes a lot less time and it's much easier for someone to make their own connections. Start by removing a couple of inches of insulation off the end of the network cable. Then go ahead and untwist the pairs and straighten them out as much as possible. Now just match up the colors on the cable to the color guide on the tool itself. Then you're gonna slide those wires into the jack. And don't worry if they look a little bit crooked, there are some guides in there that'll straighten them out as they go in. Now the advantage to these type of jacks is you don't have to measure any wire. But with this one, you just press the wires right through the end, squeeze the tool, and that built-in cutter will cut the excess wire off. And now you've got a perfect completed plug. But what if your computer doesn't even have a network jack? Well, fortunately, the fix is easy. You can get an inexpensive adapter like this, and this is gonna convert USB and give you a standard ethernet port like this that you can plug your hard wire into. And if you've got a gaming console, you definitely wanna use the hardwired port because it's gonna help reduce latency. Latency is what happens when you press a button, hit the enter key, and you're waiting for a response. 
Now in a game, that's happening a million times an hour, so you want the quickest connection you can get, and that's always going to be by using your hardwired port. But what about the wireless connections on an iPhone or an iPad? Well, you can't really do anything about it, because those don't have any kind of options that allow you to plug directly into a network. And they're also not nearly as powerful as a computer or a gaming console, so they're not going to suffer the impact of a wireless connection in the same way. It doesn't matter what speed internet you've got or how many extenders you've got in your house, wireless is going to always be slower than wired. For most people, just plugging right into your router is going to give you a speed boost of two to three times what you're currently getting. And if you don't have a port, get one of those adapters and you should expect the same type of results. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.